Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Paladin Sands of Myth update show. I'm your host today, Roman Nova, also one of your community managers. And today we have a show jam-packed with content featuring, but not limited to, felines, pharaohs, and amphibians. But before we get in all, to, all into that, whew, I would like to introduce somebody next to me. If he lifts his helmet ever so kindly, you may oh. notice that, <laughs> that this is a valence, one of hey. your other community managers. How's it going, guys? Happy to be back. So it's good to have you. Thanks. And if we look to our, my left, uh, we also are joined today. By, oh, and he actually hopped on set today. Our lead designer of Paladins, Adonis. And we're also joined by Anthony. You probably know him online, though, as Strixus. So we're going to jump right into it, folks. And as you know, with our update show, we always start right off with the hunt. And this is something that we have continued into 2020. And we are slaying bugs left and right, you know, faster than a frog can catch flies. So. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going. Anyway. <laughs> well done. Uh, well done. So we're going to jump right into it, though. There's uh, a lot of bug fixes. There's a lot patch. of bug fixes this patch. We're going to continue doing more. There's already there's more on our list to uh, very get much to. get before we go live with this patch. But of the ones that we've already nailed down so far, we're going to start off with a couple of champion specific bugs. We fixed an issue where Maldamba was not hearing the audio that plays when he successfully hits a teammate with mending spirits. We fixed a bug where Abominable Terminus could go invisible after certain situations after using his ultimate. Our last champion specific bug that we're going to go over on patch notes we fixed an issue where gamepad players could not correctly aim assist to Tiberius. For general fixes, we fixed an issue where players could accidentally hide the match ready prompt for ranked so you couldn't select join right. It would give you deserter. We have now made it so that those keys no longer remove that prompt, that prompt cannot be removed. We fix an issue where the loading, the, the create a loadout menu would not, or it would disappear, we, we made it so that it wouldn't disappear anymore. When you backtracked in that screen, we fix an issue where the end of match scoreboard would incorrectly display player healing when you had ROM on your team, more specifically, when you would heal a ROM when he had soul armor, it would sh display your player healing as higher than it actually was. And as always, we want to go over the, uh, the, some of the major overarching areas that are still under investigation as part of the hunt. We wanted to be fully clear with everybody watching what we're still uh, being very cognizant of and still working on. Now that they're going to the topic of top play and uh, kill kill cam removal, I just want to say, like seriously, I have seen some people over exaggerating over the fact that high res is removing these two these two things because, in my opinions, not only were they useless, but they were buggy as fuck, as they said themselves. Like, it's not even stable. Uh, I mean, and some of you just keep saying, "Oh, why don't they fix it? Or why don't they?" It's just like returning. Uh, a dry stick to its uh, position like if it's a wet stick probably you're gonna turn it back but if it's a dry stick you can't turn it back it's just gonna break that's the same thing with the top play and kill cam so come on just just don't over exaggerate uh, over it a little bit we all of us hate changes but they do happen and we have to sometimes accommodate you know improvise adapt and overcome to the frogman himself adonis you, yeah, you have some riveting information. I have some riveting. Oh, okay. Riveting uh, so I guess we're talking about kill cam uh, and top play now. Uh, quick summary is we are removing kill cam and top play from Paladins. And so this is something that we talked about internally for a while and kind of debated what to do with it. Uh, when it comes down to it, uh, this is for a higher quality of life for Paladins in the long run. Uh, there are numerous issues, a lot of bugs, especially visually unappealing bugs, that occur both only in kill cam and top play and also are caused by kill cam and top play. Right. One of the big, uh, I'll, I'll, one of, some of the two big issues that I think are good to highlight is looping audio. So if you've ever been mm -hmm. spectating a Victor or a Vivian or killed by them uh, during a match, 
What actually happens is sometimes mm -hmm. their audio gets stuck on loop, sometimes throughout the entire game. Sometimes there are VFX stuck on that happen as well. And these are issues that are you know, primarily focused on these two fundamental uh, systems. This is stuff that actively hurts paladins. It actively hurts paladins having a buggy kill cam in top play. And to, it's not as simple as just fixing them. This is something yeah. that basically how it's uh, architectured from the ground up is we would have to rebuild the full system. And we don't currently have the team size and resources available to do that. And we think we have some good alternatives here this patch, uh, both in death cards, commendations, accolades, just an improved post-match uh, post lobby experience that we still want you to you know, know who killed you, what you were killed right. by, and then also feel rewarded at the end of the match, depending for you as a player, like, oh, this is the cool thing I did. We actually, I, I think we've actually developed a better system than top play by improving our post-match lobby. So I am very right. excited, but uh, make sure to give your feedback on all the new things that we've brought in for this patch as well. <laughs> One of the things that we are uh, adding for in replace of kill cam is death cards. So uh, this is more of a new cosmetic item that's going to exist in your accessories in the bottom right hand corner. If you've been playing uh, and you actively change your accessories, you've probably seen that empty slot here uh, or there, excuse me. And so now what's going to happen is you are going to select a unique death card that also has a little message with it. Yeah. And that is actually going to populate on your opponent's screen when you kill them in battle. So it'll pop up. It's going to be on the bottom right. We'll probably show some examples here now or later. And it's going to be a unique art piece and then kind of a little message. So one of them is a new Cleopatra pepper, uh, nice. which is a little bit fun. And you know the, the little quip is, bow to your queen next time we meet. So death cards are going to be replacing kill cam. Yeah. You also and said the P word, pepper. Pepper? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with pepper? Oh, nothing, nothing, but I'm sure, like, chat right now is just oh, they're, little, they're going like, bonkers. They're like, what, more pepper? pepper? More, more pepper. pepper? Wherever we drop pepper, chat goes nuts. It's wild. Yeah. They're big fans of pepper. You need I some know. pepper hey, to douse it? the salt. <laughs> All right, anyway. That was solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and then we also probably want to go over accommodations. Accommodations and MVP screen and accolades. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll start at a high level here. So yeah. with the removal of top play, we kind of took a look at um, what does a individual experience in post-match lobby, like how are we yeah. rewarding them? And what we really found is that we don't like the MVP screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funny enough, we, we were like, okay, well, here's top play, here's what it brings. But one of our issues, I think, is that our top play, or excuse me, not our top play, our MVP screen mm -hmm. was a little bit outdated. First of all, uh, the characters have existed in some blue void. Um, no <laughs> one knows void. why that decision was made four years ago that everyone would exist in a blue void in MVP screen, but that's, uh, that's where we landed. So we have yep. a new backer. They exist in uh, kind of a frame set. You'll recognize it from one of our other UI elements like the Champions page. And so mm -hmm. what's going to happen is now in post-match lobby, instead of an MVP that says, here's the one individual that was best at each role determined by his, uh, uh, the highest of a specific stat, which is but. not, you know, it wasn't, yeah. it was there, it existed. It's but now we have an improved version of it where it is now going to be your team spread. So it's not going right. to be uh, an individual of each role. We're going to showcase your entire team with you, the player, front and center, and everyone will have a unique accolade to their name. We have about 30 some, I think, uh, for this patch, and we're going to be looking right. to add more. But it's going to be like, oh, this person got a pentakill, and so we'll have a unique element with it. Or you, got a 30, you have 30 elimination streak, uh, so now we're going to call you a berserker. And everyone's... We have a variety of unique titles and accolades for that, and we're going to be looking to add more as we go. I expect future updates to that. Uh, in addition, we have commendations as well. And so commendations are something that our players have requested for a long time. So we're very excited to be able to bring this in. So at the end of match lobby, uh, when you get to your accolade and MVP screen, I don't know, what are we going to call that? I guess accolade screen now. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be able to commend your team for one of three things. So we right. have uh, leadership, teamwork, and skill. So depending sure. on how you guys interacted, maybe someone was calling strategy, maybe someone was just a good teammate and always you know, followed the general flow or just did their role really well, or maybe they were just, they popped off, right? Like <laughs> long, close and, uh, back and forth battle and the healer gets you know, 250,000 healing, they were, they were yeah. great, or maybe a, a flank really is able to successfully dive the back line or you know, whatever it is, skills kind of uh, up to the player to decide you know, what the, you know, how players should be rewarded for their skill. So yeah. as you accumulate these accommodations as an individual, you're all not season end rewards. So we have one for 100, two, three, four, and 500 uh, total accommodations. Uh, and if you're banned, you lose them all. So. Yeah. 
Don't do don't, that. Don't, don't get banned. Behave, not that, it's really not that hard to not <laughs> get banned. Don't, don't, don't it is that. not difficult at all to not get banned in the game, so. Well, as we reach the end of the first highlight, uh, which covers the topic of the bug fixes and uh, the removal of top play, kill cams, and the changes in the MVP screen, uh, I'm just going to say a little bit about what I think about all of these changes, which, in a way, it's a good thing. I do not like top play and the kill cam as I just they kind of boring they serve no purpose sometimes it's good to flex on others about your top play and all of that but who the fuck is that you're not you're not gonna live forever you're not an immortal because you did that although I do see that sometimes but anyways that's a good thing uh, they added death cards uh, which is a weird system I I'm not really fond of it well, if I if you could customize what you <laughs> what's gonna show up, then I'm a fucking buy it. I don't care. That's a good thing. But anyways, uh, MVP screen. Uh, the MVP screen is uh, is kind of like uh, the CS:GO MVP screen. You know, you have the title for each one, uh, and even if uh, after each round they tell you like this guy did the best thing, this guy did the most kills, most damage. I like it. I guess doesn't impact, but yeah, still good to have some some something good good to see. The last thing is the commendations, which if you're uh, if you're uh, familiar with MOBAs, League of Legends, it's kind of the same concept as League of Legends honor system. You know, you just you just get you keep getting if you get like shout. I'm just gonna call it like a shout out. As long as you like progress in it, you get some rewards. You know, chests, key fragments. I guess I don't remember a lot, but yeah, things like that. It's pretty. It's a pretty good way to get rewards and to show how. Toxic peoples from non-toxic peoples, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of it for uh, this highlight. Uh, I'm soon gonna, I'm soon gonna uh, make the video of uh, the balance changes, which have been some considerable changes, but we'll see them. Mm -hmm.